Hi, I'm just doing a quick update video on Dota 2. No, this does not count as a video of the day, so don't worry about it. I will release a hunt video later on. So this update is mainly for Dota players and just Steam players and for people who are connected with Steam. And the first part of the video will be just telling you how to improve your Dota 2 experience, so to speak, by different means how to fix some stuff and how to improve your FPS if you're having trouble with that. So then let's start with the first thing and that is FPS issues. If you're having FPS issues then of course the first thing you can do is go into the options in the video, in the video controls in advanced and turn everything down to low if you want. At least the stuff that's implemented already in the beta. So next thing that can increase your FPS is changing the resolution. Lower it pretty much. Lower it and then your FPS will drastically go up. If that is still not enough or you maybe don't want to lower your resolution, there are some console commands which to enable the console you will have to go into the Steam launch options which I am currently recording my desktop so I can show you. You go to properties and set launch options for Dota 2 and here you will have to write console. That will start the game with the console enabled. So by default is the tilt key or whatever you call it below the escape key that opens the console. You type con enable 1. It will be 0 for you. You type it 1 so then the console will always be enabled for you whenever you play Dota and you can remove it from here. Now two useful commands in the launch options are that not everyone probably knows about as no vid, which is dash no vid. It skips the inter uh, intro video with the valve guy turning. And another command is to increase FPS because Dota 2 has updated or didn't properly update DirectX 9. So there are some problems with it or something. So I think this mode switches to DirectX 8.1 and supposedly increases FPS. So that's dash nod 3 D9 EX. You can just copy it from here. You will probably be able to read it in high definition. If you switch the video to high definition, hopefully the quality will be high enough so that you can read it. Now then that's over with. Next FPS fix is even if that doesn't help and you still don't have a lot of FPS, maybe, I don't know, maybe your PC isn't good enough or something. You can open the console there is a command that may make your game buggy, may not make your game buggy, but if you really need FPS and you've already turned the resolution down or you don't want to turn it down for some reason, there is a command R deferred, which turns on deferred rendering. By default it's 1, you can set it to 0. And as you can see, there, for me at least, on my resolution, I get these weird, this weird kind of square thing on the edges. Maybe that's because I have a white screen on my laptop, I don't know. For some resolutions it may be fixed. This command will turn the graphics down a bit and for me it creates this bug as well which is annoying and kind of not really playable for me at least. And as you can see there are some glitches over here as well with lighting. But it does increase your FPS about twofold. Like your FPS doubles if you do the, use this command. You need to enable the console for it, obviously. Wait. So I turn it back on. And that's about pretty much it for the FPS fix. Now, another fix for Dota 2 is the shop hotkeys, which I have been fixing for such a long time, and for some reason they just didn't work. You can see here they're Q, W, E, R, a S D F G H and I also have Z X and C set. Now for some people hotkeys will be missing like S or D or maybe even Q or R especially if you change some settings like if you go to the control options for example I set these settings to be like in Han Alt Q Alt W Alt E and etc for the invent inventory and for the two special abilities I set the hotkeys to S and D since I don't use S for stop I just press space to hold position as you can see here so after I changed hotkeys like this some of the shop hotkeys stopped working and so there is a workaround for this and I think it was discovered not too long ago and it has to do with Steam Cloud now first thing that you will need to do is 
probably it's best if you just reset the hotkeys if you really screw them up and change them a lot. If you didn't change them a lot then you don't really have to do this but close steam. This has to do with steam cloud so you have to close steam or otherwise it will get really buggy and you'll have a ton of trouble. So here I am in my steam folder and what you where you have to go after you've closed your steam I haven't closed it obviously because my daughter is open but you have to go into user data there will be a big number you go in there and there will be a folder called 570. In this folder, you go into a couple other folders and you'll find Dota Keys personal file and you open it with text as a text file. I use Notepad++ because it's awesome. And so there we go. A really nice Notepad++ program that opens it as a text file and here you can see all the hotkeys. So for the shop hotkeys, if I scroll down, I will find shop tab side page one or shop tab artifacts, blah, blah, blah. Let's start from the first one, which is shop tab consumables. And here you can see there will be an entry called key and the corresponding key. Now, if you have this key missing, it will be missing completely like this, like you won't even have it here. What you have to do is to scroll down or up and find an entry that's that is there and just copy paste it and set the hotkey that you want. And so make sure that there's a hotkey for every shop thing and just go in order Q W E R A S D F G H. And then there's a couple of hotkeys for the side shop for the two side shops which I set to Z and X. I don't remember if they're set by default and one for us, the secret shop I said to see. Now a couple of other really cool hotkeys are the ability autocast hotkeys which you cannot set in game. There's no way to set them in game but you can set them in this file and they, it works the same way as in Han. I'll find it here in a second. There we go. There's the hotkeys for abilities. You can see for the secondary abilities for the ultimate and here for the autocast. Now, if you want to set it to a single key, you just do it like this. After the description, or I think you can even add it anywhere, like even as the first entry. Add a key entry and set the key to whatever hotkey you want. So, one, first ability, second ability, out of cast, third one, I set it to ZXC. And then there's the secondary abilities. If you want to bend the key combination, which I don't think control or shift work very well right now. The only combinations that work are with alt. So if you want the key to only work with alt, you have to add a modifier entry. You'll either have to find it or just type it in like this, exactly like this. Modifier alt. This means this will only work with the alt hotkey held down. So the secondary, like the first special ability autocast for me is alt x and the second one alt c. And the ultimate autocast is v. So those are very useful. As you can see here my inventory hotkeys which in the game are for example alt q here you can see the key is set to q and modifier is set to alt so that's how that works i don't think you need to change any other hotkeys fix the shop hotkeys here add the ability autocast hotkeys if you want change the hotkeys how you want save the file which i'm not going to do now because i didn't really change anything close it save no thank you close it and make sure that the steam that steam was closed after that open steam again after you've saved the file launch the other two and it should work okay so that's how you fix the hotkeys does this guy have autocast flame break sticking i i don't think he does probably not yeah those are not autocast abilities oh well so that's how you set hotkeys that's some useful uh starting launch options for dota 2 here as i've told you some tricks to increase your fps and i hope that has helped your dota 2 will help your dota 2 experience if you get into the beta be sure to check me out now then that's that was the first part of the video the second part of the video is turns out there's also a friend limit on steam so just like in han i can't keep adding everyone so i have to do something like in han like creating a chat room where everyone can just join so i created a steam group which if you go to community here 
here's my group which is called so just SOMAS, at least that's the page, and the short version is SMZ SG, which is SOMAS team group for short. So basically what you have to do is type SOMAS into the group search. You have to go to community, groups, and then type SOMAS into the group search. Like this. So then you find the group or whatever, or you can find the player as well. Like here I am, for example. This is me, or if I switch to players and type SOMAS with capital letters, like S capital and Z capital, you can find me as a player. This group is invite only, so this is to prevent kind of spam and stuff. But pretty much anyone can join. To join the group, you will have to message me, which you will have to find me as a player, which you pretty much go to players in the search, like groups, then search, then go into players, and type it like this, with S and Z capital letters. So here you can find me as a player, or I can try and go to players. Here you can find me as well, or you can try type some as 9, which doesn't find me for some reason, although that's my Steam name. So you'll have to find me like this and simply message me. If I go to my profile on the right, you will have the option to send a message. Send me a message and ask, hey, Somez, add me to your Steam group and I'll just add you. That's it. So yeah, that's because of the stupid friends limit list. Friend list limit. There we go. So again, I repeat, go to community, search for me as a player which works like this here you can find me just click on me it's a cat you won't miss me probably and ask me to add you into the group by here into the, in the actions you will see a send message thingy if i'm online which i hopefully am and once someone gets into the steam groups you can just invite each other because members can invite other members and so on it's not just me who can invite people so what does the group actually do? Well, you can go into groups and there's an action called enter chat room, which doesn't do anything now for some reason, but it worked a while. Or do I have it open? Oh yeah, I have it open, which opens this chat group, chat, whatever, group chat, some as group chat. And this is the same thing as in Han, basically a group. And you can come here, chat, do whatever you want. That's how it's gonna work. So yeah, that's how that's gonna work. I don't know, maybe you can request me as a friend or something so that I will see your name and then somehow add you. I'll see about that, but yeah, join the group instead because my friend list may get full. It only requires like a quarter of subscribers to request me and then it's full, which is bad. I don't want it to be full. I don't think this team group has a limit like the amount of people that can enter are on, is unlimited so there we go that's how steam group works again just send me a message add me to steam group i'll add you or i don't know if you can just send me your steam name on youtube that also works just send me your like via private message don't post it in the video comments it doesn't belong there i'll add you to the group and maybe we'll have some fun in dota 2 so see ya whenever that happens and expect a new video very soon.